A few good things about refreshed CPUs are usually the performance they offer without any change in the architecture and also the compatibility with the already existing platform. Intel and AMD sometimes launch a second batch of CPUs after a year of launching a brand new CPU series. This allows the companies to provide better performance without an increase in price. If you have been monitoring the CPU launches, you will need to understand that the companies do this in order to make their current gen relevant. And this is exactly what Intel is trying to do with the Raptor Lake series. The Raptor Lake refresh is about to be launched in the next month, but the recent leak shows that Intel might be killing its own CPUs with the most nonsense move ever. A few days ago, the Twitter leaker Momomo shared a screenshot of Raptor Lake CPUs being listed on a Ukrainian website called Telemart. These included all the core i5, i7 and i9 processors, but the pages have been removed as of now. In the next tweet, the leaker shared the supposed prices of these CPUs, clearly showing us where Intel is heading next. As per this leak, all the Raptor Lake refresh CPUs are going to see a big price hike of 15% irrespective of the CPU model. For example, the Core i5-14600K is going to cost $50 more than its predecessor, the 13700K will cost $60 more, and the i9-13900K will cost $95 more. The KF processors will also see a similar price hike of 14-16%. to If this report is true, this is already making the Raptor Lake refresh a complete nonsense CPU lineup, as they don't even offer significant performance uplift when it comes to gaming. We have seen from previous leaks that these are hardly 3-5% to faster in single core performance and hence not much beneficial in gaming. Yes, they do offer some good multi-threaded performance uplift over the predecessors, but this is what a refresh lineup is supposed to be like. However, the price increase is unjustified and there is no reason why anyone would spend another $50 to $90 for a mere 4% performance increase except if they have too much spare money to waste. Currently, we have Ryzen 7000 3D CPUs available for much lower prices and they easily annihilate Raptor Lake processors in gaming. Even the 7500F does a pretty good job for just $180. So if Intel is really pushing these prices, then these are already dead on arrival, particularly the Core i5 processors because they offer nothing better whether we talk about its gaming performance or even specs. I would rather get the i5-13600K for $50 less as I would get the same gaming performance. Next, we got a leak on the upcoming RX 6750 GRE, which is supposedly going to be launched in China. If you remember the RX 7900 GRE, then the 6750 GRE will make some sense to you. Essentially, it is a downgraded RX 6750 XT based on the RDNA 2 architecture. As per a Twitter leaker, the 6750 GRE is nothing more than an overclocked RX 6700 GPU. So the GRE edition is not even equal to the 6700 XT, let alone the 6750 XT, and will supposedly bring specs of the RX 6700. 700 except for higher clock speeds. It is going to be based on the cut down Navi 22 die and will feature 10 GB of GDDR6 memory on a 160 bit bus. The only difference here will be clock speeds on the GRE and possibly a higher TDP of around 200 watts. This will unlock the leftover potential of the original RX 6700. But as for the performance, you can expect it to sit between the RX 6700 and the 6700 XT, which are hardly 10 to 15 percent apart in performance. So, what's the point of releasing the GRE when it is not even filling? a wide gap between two GPUs. And lastly, let's talk about the biggest surprise of this year, which is none other than from Intel. This is about Intel's Battlemage graphics cards, which according to the reports are already in the labs. The original source for this leak is Hardware Lux, which is a well-known German hardware website. It said that in the failure analysis lab, they come across a tray that evidently contained chips from the next ARC generation. There were already corresponding chips in the analysis, which were clearly labeled as BMG G10. So there you have it, Intel has just started analyzing the Battlemage GPUs, which means that the GPUs are most likely ready for mass production. And even though these GPUs are delayed according to Intel's original plan, I'm still glad to know that we are going to see Battlemage getting released before Nvidia and AMD's next-gen GPUs. The other two companies aren't going to deliver the next-gen graphics cards before 2025, and AMD particularly doesn't seem to be able to develop higher-end cards in the next series. Therefore, we will be left with the Battlemage GPUs which will have quite a good amount of time even if it launches in the first half of 2024. We have already seen how greatly the Alchemist GPUs have evolved since their launch, and if you have watched one of Hardware Unboxed recent videos, he compared the A750 against RTX 4060 and RX 7600, where he found out that the A750 provides a much higher value than its competitors. So I won't be surprised if the Battle Mage crushes the current gen GPUs from AMD and Nvidia, and that will be the official end of Nvidia's monopoly on the discrete GPU market. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below, and don't forget to share your opinions on the Raptor Lake refresh price hike. Lastly, hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more videos like this. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any future videos and I will see you in the next one.